Hello my uh, dear few followers, uh, thank you for staying uh, tuned on this uh, channel. Uh, this time I'm gonna introduce you um, body built by Kyosho for the Glue and Giz series is uh, Pure 10 Alpha and uh, V1. Um, it has a well base of 260 razors and the usual 257. And it's uh, 2000 mm wide, like a usual racing guard. Um, it is an official. Voxel kit. It is uh, labeled uh, on the sleeve. Um, I had uh, previously uh, received one damaged with uh, the, the Pure 10 Alpha I received uh, months ago, and I uh, seek for a shell around the world and uh, finish to uh, pay one uh, more than I should in Italy. Um, I found uh, newer stickers, new old stocks in France, roughly, which is very, very cheap. And um, for the painting, there is something different. Uh, then I have to realize uh, with uh, the uh, HPI edition. Uh, this car is um, edition of the winner of the 2000 British Touring Championship, Mr. Plato. Uh, it has its name on the front, on the top, on the rear. Okay. Um, and you may have noticed that on the stickers you have the red and the white part painted already. On the HPI body kit, uh, the stickers are not colored. You have only the um, the grey part. So uh, you have to be careful when you paint the car. Um, this car was also uh, distributed uh, piece by piece uh, by um, the Edition Atlas in France. And uh, what the the show to prepare it, it was to uh, paint only that part in red and I don't know why, they have uh, choose to uh, paint this part also in red. I look over the internet of what was the correct paint of the original car and uh, no, not at all. It doesn't have the red part like they should. It has to be white, like I did. So, um, how can I give you an advice with that? Okay. Um, First of all, uh, don't follow uh, the Atlas Concealed. Uh, prefer to use your instinct and uh, to watch over the internet with the true photographies of the car. Okay, uh, the red border at the rear windows should start right this way, okay? And after it, I have to turn a little bit. Like that, but 
don't worry too much because you have already this on the sticker yes see that you will have to uh, cut the sticker at your hand as you can guess um, difficult part of putting the stickers in the right position is that the front uh, stamp where his labeled <laughs> pilot number is split in many parts and after that you will have to stick on it the pilot number okay so uh, what you have for goal um, as you can guess you can uh, put it it uh, right up to the limit of the um, windshield and after it will be okay um, as the stickers are new old stock and uh, they are not very um, kind um, when you have to uh, send them to apply uh, like I have uh, for the flank you see that but um, don't forget to recut them because you can't uh, just apply them on the back they will uh, pull off quickly anything uh, about the stickers when you have found the original picture of the original car um, it will be uh, very easy um, and you see it's it corresponds very well to the original uh, racing car. Uh, just mm, there's two stickers that I don't know where they have to fall. Uh, I watched the original car and at first I thought they were on the rear wing, but no, it doesn't fit well. Yes. I'm still uh, wanting some uh, information if you have it. Just let me know. Um, the body came with a um, mark on it. Uh, this is where you will have to drill um, for the mounting. Uh, Body posts, yes. Uh, there is no mark for the antenna output, but as it depends on the car and the kit you have, uh, it's up to you. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, uh, stickers has already. Uh, Cut. Uh, there is a thin uh, clear border on them and uh, sometimes you will have to uh, recut it uh, especially uh, for the front shim but um, it will be okay and you see that that uh, you will have to sun, you will have to push, you will have to twist. I did my best, but it was not enough. But the result is uh, quite nice. Et voilà! This is the last test uh, one uh, tenth Astra body kit I have received. No, I'm seeking uh, for um, Vectra uh, C uh, GTS edition. Uh, if you have uh, one shop that still have them in stock, uh, let me know quickly. I'm seeking uh, for two of them because I have some uh, 
stickers to realize some that were running in the uh, second part of the uh, year 2000 in uh, German series. Stay tuned, see you and bye bye. Uh, next time, body that I hope uh, it will be uh, one tenth of the uh, Keke Rosberg uh, All Spice uh, Calibra DTM based upon the um, Tamiya uh, DTM uh, kit of the year 1995 edition which was re-released uh, for the TT02 sorry stay tuned bye bye